So in music class, we basically just do a bunch of different musical activities that the kids call them games. And this includes singing, dancing, playing instruments, and using a bunch of different manipulatives such as scarves and finger puppets and a bunch of different things like that. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. The ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. Up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. The ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. And stop. Does anybody remember where the djembe is from? Yeah. What country? Yeah, right, uh, Riley? Remember? Africa. Africa, that's exactly right. Nice job. All right, get your hands ready, guys. Here we go, up the ladder, down the ladder, one the ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. I say, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one, the ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, one by one. Okay, we're going to go this way. Today, the students are in my PE class, and they're learning different activities uh, through games, and they're getting a nice workout um, rotating in different stations. Remember every 15 over and unders, you guys are switching. Make sure you guys are on the mat so you don't hurt yourselves. Make sure you're on the mats. Keep jogging, guys, outside of the cones. Keep going, keep going, outside of the cones. Keep going. Remember, guys, this is one on one, all right? You're playing one person versus the other. If your bottom comes off, if your bottom comes off, make sure you go to the end of the line. Good job, guys. A typical day in kindergarten math is run like a workshop. We focus truly on number sense and get them engaged at an early age. And we really focus on problem solving and get them engaged through hands-on uh, learning. So we'll start whole group with our problem solving and then get them into independent practice um, where the teacher then will work with small groups at their independent level and coaching them. You'll see lots of things going on in a workshop. Um, kids working hands-on. You'll see paper pencil. You'll see all kinds of different things um, really raising uh, problem solvers for the future. So during this part of the workshop, the children break out into independent practice. The teacher also works with a small group to continue the problem solving. But the kinds of number sense that they're engaged in, you will see um, this uh, number line the student is working with. They're adding on one more, two more, they'll do subtraction. They do that physically so that it makes sense to them and they feel what numbers are. You'll see some children doing counting collections. That's where they have a collection of objects and counting seems simple to us but it really is a number sense can they anchor themselves to ten and some more so they will cluster things and count by twos fives and tens you also will see children making choices um, from baskets this is all number sense activities from one to one hundred and beyond they make those choices themselves you're doing the number of the day aren't you so what's your number today? Um, 17. So what are you doing with 17? Uh, we didn't know what I, I see that you've made tally marks and you've broken 17 into a number bond of 10 and 7. Very nice work. Children will also be working with the hundreds chart. Um, and you can see from what they're doing that they're engaged, they're enjoying it, and they're making sense of numbers. Right now the children are doing literacy centers. Basically it's a literacy experience that the children do either independently or collaboratively in a group and they focus on literacy skills. So for instance we have a retelling activity, we have poem activities, we also have a word building activity, um, a sight word activity, and a literacy alphabet book activity. <laughs> okay. Okay, who remembers how we start our sentences? 
Uppercase letters. Uppercase Did you guys all, everyone look at the first sentence. Did you all put uppercase letters at the beginning? I forgot. I know, I noticed hers too. So yep, just switch it to uppercase. And then don't forget what goes at the end. What goes at the end of your sentence? Do you remember? Period. Yes. This is our interactive poem wall. And as you can see, the children are able to read the poems independently. And also some of them choose to get a dry erase board and write the poems and copy them from the wall full of sight words that they know and that they learn throughout the kindergarten year. <laughs> Good job, Meadow, I'm glad you're doing that. Right now we are doing a guided reading group, which is a small group reading instruction for differentiated teaching to help students develop reading proficiency in a small group. Okay, boys and girls, today we're gonna read a story. Let's look at the front of the book. Can you guys guess what the story's gonna be about? Traffic jam. A traffic, traffic jam. jam. Can you look at the picture and tell it's a traffic jam? Yes. Who can name some of the, maybe some of the cars or trucks that are in the traffic jam? Andrew. Motorcycle. A motorcycle. Um, Noah. Uh, a bus. A bus. Michaela. Police car. A police car. What do you think, Caden? Um, a tow truck. A tow truck. A bike. A bike. Okay. Well, we're going to see this word inside the book that we're going to read, and I'm going to spell it out. Let's see if you guys know this word. C. C. Very good. Right now we will be doing a shared reading experience where the children either join in or share the reading of a book with me, supported by the teacher. Um, basically we use an oversized book and I model proficient reading skills. Okay boys and girls, we're going to read a story today. It's called I See Shapes. We've read this one time before, but we're going to review this story. Who remembers this, the word that we talked about last time? C. Can we spell C? S-E-E-C. -E -E -C. So I see shapes. I'm going to call on some students to help me find the word C on the different pages. So Skylar, can you come on up? Do you see the word C on the front of the book? Very good. So can we read the title together? I see shapes. What shapes might we see in that story? Lucas. A square. Maybe a square. There's writing to be done each and every day in kindergarten. Me as the teacher, I can write to the students, I can write with the students, and the students can do the work on their own using the to, with, and by method. Um, we write about their experiences, their thoughts, and their ideas each and every day in different content areas and just what happens in their life. Here we go, this is a little bit of transition words and how-to writing. Okay, so boys and girls, you have been doing lots of different stories about how to. We've read lots of different books that give directions about how to do something, like how wax gets turned into crayons, or how trees become paper. I know some of you at your table, you're writing um, how to brush your teeth. What I wanna show you today is I wanna write down some words that I want you to start trying in your writing. These are called transition words, and they just tell the reader of your work one step to the next step to the next step. So some of these words are gonna be like math words. These are gonna be the ordinal number words. These are words like first. So after each mini lesson that happens in Writer's Workshop Daily, I will conference with students individually on what process they're working on in Writer's Workshop and see if they're using some of the things from the lesson in their daily writing. Okay. Can you tell me what's going on? What are you working on today? In Grand Blank, we have a very hands-on approach to science. Everybody meet Clarice. She's an albino snake. Isn't she cool? Yeah. How are you? Nice to see you. Can I bring her? Can you not bring mine? I won't bring her. Can I have a question? What do you think, Chloe? He's a boy. We learn about living things and the basic needs of living things, and we like to explore living things here. So these are millipedes. Let's see if we can get them out. Put your hands out. 
Mm-hmm. You can reach in there and grab them, boys and girls, if you can find them. I, 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 I found one. I found one. What is this? I found one. Put your hand out. Put your arm out. Put your arm out. We'll take the millipede out of there and see what it feels like. I know, I just got one that's curled. They like to hang out on the ground, don't they? Yeah. Why do you think he's not moving? Do you think he might be scared? <laughs> it's okay. We also work on pushes and pulls in the classroom. So here we have Cecile and Sydney, and they are showing us how ramps work and how far the Jeep went. Hmm. I wonder what happened if we raise the ramp up a little bit. Think it's gonna go farther? Yep. You think so? Let's see. Um, can you can you make it smell a sense to smell this? Uh orange. Okay? Yeah. We also work on our five senses on seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, and smelling.